Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to run through how to add pictures to your parts in order to make them look a little bit more realistic. So example, here I have a palletization of a box and I just made images to make the box look more realistic. So let's run through how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what size the part is going to be or if you're going to just add a small detail to the part. For this example, I have a box that is two inches by three inches by seven eighths of an inch tall. So I'm going to create an actual image to match that size since it's a smaller part. Now, if it's a larger part, obviously you don't want to make a huge image because then the file size gets really big. So then in that case, you just make the ratios to be the same as your part. Now I create my parts and drawings in Photoshop, but you can use any software that can export a certain image. So I made these images two inches tall, three inches wide, um, and then each one of these, so seven eighths, three inches, and then three inches, seven eighths as well. So again, three inches, got your two inch, seven eighths, and then the other size. So these are the three images I'm going to use for my part in RoboGuide. So once you have your image created, however you want to make it, so again, I made it try to make it look as close to a box as possible, downloaded some free images to make it look like a box, like a barcode, and some fragile images, add some robot parts words to the end as well. And then I'm going to save this as a bitmap because bitmaps seem to work the best when it comes to RoboGuide. So once you have your images done, just go to save as. I'm just going to create a new folder and we we'll just call it images inside the folder where all my RoboGuide stuff is. So I have everything in one place. So I'm going to save this as the long part of the box. I'm going to save it as a bitmap because again, this seems to work the best in RoboGuide. And then I'm going to save the rest of them in the same exact place. There we go. So all the images are saved. So I'm going to go to my RoboGuide file. So inside RoboGuide, I'm going to go to the cell and I'm going to add part and we just create a box. And then we change the box size to the proper size. And again, I need to do a little bit of conversions to make sure that my inches to millimeters is worked correctly. So I'm going to go three inches, which is 76.2 and then two inches, 50.8. And then we have 7 eighths of an inch, 22.225. And then we can change the mass of it. So whatever the mass is of your box, I'm going to go, so maybe 0 0.04 kilograms. And we'll just call this box. And we'll give it a color of white. And we'll hit OK. And then here's our box being created to the right. All right, so we can either double click it or you can right click and then go to box properties. There's our box and let's go to image and here's our images. Now we can also add an outline to it. So outline will just kind of outline it in black. It makes it a little bit more apparent. So I'm going to click the Z plus axis and then we click image and we find my image folder inside my sort of cart area and we pick my top. And when I hit apply, you will then see it apply to the correct direction. If you need to rotate it, you can go rotate. So you can rotate left, right, and then also fully rotate it 180 degrees. Now let's add that to the other side. So we hit the Z minus, and then we pick the image, and we pick the top again, and apply. So you shouldn't have to rotate. If you rotate up here, then you should be able to rotate down below as well. So we won't be able to see necessarily the bottom of that. So we're going to have to kind of trust is good. Okay, so then we're going to go to the x-axis and we're going to pick the folder. And x-axis is going to be on this side. So we're going to pick the box long. And when I hit apply, okay, so it went on the wrong side. So if you make a mistake like I just did, just go back to the folder and then pick the proper image to go on the side. So I'm going to hit open and then hit apply, and now the box is correct. If I need to do a rotation, we can do the rotation. So then I'm going to go to the X axis on the other side. I'm going to pick the exact same image, apply, and then you should be able to see that box on the other side. And then the Y axis, box image, 
pick the box long since this is on the proper side and I hit apply and we have it on this side so you can see the rotation is correct and then I'm going to go to the other side and do the final image on top of here there we go so now I have my box if I turn off the outline you'll see then the outline goes off and it looks like a normal box if you want it to be a little bit more apparent then again you just click the outline hit apply and then you'll see the outline of the box hit OK and now we have a part that looks like an actual box in real life.